Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is Gradius here, and this is the start of Unit 8, and the whole unit focuses on polynomials. And the lesson of today is as about adding and subtracting polynomials. So our I can statement says I can add and subtract polyno polynomials by combining values with the same degree. So we're going to talk about combining like terms, and those like terms will be the values that have the same degree or the same power when it comes, or the same exponent. So, first, there is some vocabulary, monomial and polynomial. Okay, a monomial is a number or a variable, or the product of a, num a number and one or more variables with whole number exponents. And a polynomial is a monomial, or the sum of uh, monomials. So, a polynomial or a monomial would look something like this. This would be a polynomial right here. So this would be the sum of multiple monomials. Okay, 2x to the third, this is a monomial. x squared is a monomial. Minus 5x, this is a monomial. Plus 12 is a monomial. And this whole piece right here would be considered a polynomial. Okay, now one thing to think, to talk about and to think about when writing polynomials. Uh, we need to write them in standard form. And standard form means that we have our highest degree, so the highest power comes first. Okay, and then we write it in descending order. So 2x to the third plus x squared minus 5x plus 12. We write this polynomial in standard form with the order of the power of 3 is the highest power. So that's going to come first. So I have 2x to the third power. And then I'm going to find if there's an x squared. I'll put that next. Then comes the x. This is like x to the first power. And this one doesn't even have an x. It's just a constant. The constant always comes at the end. Okay, so the leading coefficient is always the, the number, the coefficient that's in front of, that's the very, very first coefficient of the polynomial in front of the highest degree, okay? And if we were to ask, what is the degree of this polynomial? The degree of the, the highest degree is the degree of the whole polynomial. So if I were to ask you, what is the degree of this polynomial right here? It would be three. This polynomial has a degree of three because that is the highest power in the polynomial. So if I were to write this polynomial down here into standard form, I would need to rearrange some things. So what we can always do, what I like to do, is put boxes around it and make sure you include the sign in front of the value when you're moving things around. So that's why I like to put the boxes so I can see what's positive and what's negative. And standard form means I need to have my highest degree in front. So really, all I need to do is I need to move this 3x to the back because that would be in descending order. So in standard form, this would be negative 4x to the third power, plus, now I want my x squared, 9x squared, and then finally, plus 3x. This would be this polynomial in standard form. This polynomial has a degree of 3, because that is the highest power. Okay. So that's just a little bit about actual polynomials. Now what I want us to look at is what if we're actually combining polynomials and we're adding them together. So if you notice, I have this polynomial, 2x to the third minus 5x squared plus x. And then I have a second polynomial, 2x squared plus x to the third minus 1. So when we're adding polynomials together, together what we're going to do is we're just going to combine the values that have the same degree. And I like to do this uh, vertically, up and down. So I'm going to write this whole polynomial, 2x to the third, minus 5x squared, plus x. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this with this polynomial right here. But not, let's rewrite this real quick so it's in standard form. So it would really be x to the third plus 2x squared minus 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on top of, put, on, put right below the same degrees below these degrees. So what I mean by that is when I have 2x to the third, I'm going to line everything up. So I'm adding x to the third plus 2x squared. There is no plus x, and I have a minus 1 on the end. And I have no x value. Okay, no x to the first power. So I'm just going to kind of skip that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to basically combine like terms. We're just going to add the values that have the same power, combine them together, and then we're going to be done. We can't simplify that any further. So if I were to combine 2x to the third and x to the third, this is like a 1x to the third. 2 plus 1 is 3. So I have 3x to the third power. And my, my, my variable in the power stays the exact same. 
negative 5x squared plus 2x squared. So I have negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. Keep my x squared. Plus x, I have no other x, so the plus x just comes straight down. Just bring it down because there's nothing else with it. And then the same thing with the minus 1. I'm not combining that with anything. And there's my answer. I'm all done. I added these two pieces together. So you just line them up right on top of one another, the, the common values, the common degrees, and then you just add or subtract the coefficients based on what your signs are. So we're just combining them. If they don't have uh, something to combine with, then just bring it down. It's part of the answer. Let's look at another one real quick. So I have 3x squared plus x minus 6, and I'm going to combine it with x squared plus 4x plus 10. So what I'm going to do just to save time, I'm just going to put it right underneath. x squared plus 4x plus 10. So I don't need this piece anymore. Here's my problem. I'm just going to combine my x squareds, combine my x's, combine my constants. So 3x squared plus x squared becomes 4x squared. x plus 4x is positive 5x. Negative 6 plus 10 is plus 4. And I'm done. I cannot simplify this any further. We're good to go. Now, I'm going to have to subtract polynomials, which is adds one extra step. Okay, but really it's very, very similar to adding. So we still want to line everything up vertically. Okay, so I'm still going to have 4n squared plus 5 on the top. And I'm still going to subtract everything over here. Okay, which is going to be 2n squared plus 2n minus 4. Okay. So actually what I want to do here, just to make sure this lines up properly, let's go ahead and move this plus 5 all the way over here. Okay, so I'm going to subtract this from all of this. The thing with subtraction, though, is I'm subtracting each one of these pieces. So really what I can do is if I want to, to make this a little bit easier, I can distribute this negative. It's like having a negative 1 in the front. I can distribute the negative to all three pieces and then making an addition problem. So when I distribute, this is like having negative 2n squared, negative 2n, and then negative times negative 4 is positive 4. So I distributed negative 1 times 2n squared is negative 2n squared. Negative 1 times 2n is just negative 2n. And then negative 4 becomes positive 4. So by doing that, I actually change it to an addition problem. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change all my signs that I had here. So this became negative 2n minus 2n positive 4. Now I have an addition problem. We're going to do the exact same thing that we did before. We're just going to combine. So I have 4n squared plus negative 2n squared. So I'm combining 4, negative 2, which is just 2n squared. I'm combining nothing with negative 2n, so it's just negative 2n, positive 5, positive 4 which is positive 9. And I'm done. There's my answer. Let's look at one more, and then the video will be done. So I have 4x squared minus 3x plus 5 minus this whole polynomial here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to distribute this negative to everything inside my parentheses. So I'm distributing a negative 1. So I'm really just flipping the sign of everything inside my parentheses. So, neg so positive 3x squared becomes negative 3x squared. Negative x becomes positive x. Negative 8 becomes positive 8. So here's my new polynomial that I'm adding with 4x squared minus 3x plus 5. So let's rewrite them right on top of one another to make this line up a little bit easier. And I'm adding that with negative 3x squared, positive x, positive 8. And now we can combine them. 4 plus negative 3 is just 1 x squared. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2x. 5 plus 8 is 13. So my answer is 1x squared minus 2x plus 13. And there's really no reason to write this 1 in front. So it's really just x squared minus 2x plus 13. And I'm done. So be, again, with subtraction, just be careful and make sure you distribute the negative to all terms in the polynomial and then treat it like an addition problem where you just line them up on top of one another, combine the same powers together, 
combine the coefficients by either adding or subtracting based on your sign. And that's it. So I hope this video helped. Good luck, everybody, and I hope you guys have a great day. Leave comments in the YouTube section if you need to, if you have any questions. Thanks.